This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Jack Threads. So up this week on Ask the Buffalo, we're going to talk about the rumored Next Nexus or HTC One X5. We're going to talk about the iPhone 5, upcoming BlackBerry 10 devices, and when is Jelly Bean finally coming to the Galaxy S3? This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's go ahead and get started. User Matthias Balk asked, now that you've reviewed the iPhone 5, what's your daily driver? So in this industry, the term daily driver means the phone that we're carrying with us in our pockets. Generally, we have new phones that we're testing and reviewing that tend to be our daily drivers. I'm gonna try and use the iPhone 5 for a while. I miss using iOS. In particular, I miss the app experience. I think the applications, when they're being only developed for really one phone, and I guess now maybe one or two screen sizes, really is a tremendous application experience. And the breadth of apps that are in the App Store I think is really hard to match. So I'm sort of enjoying a refresher of the apps that are found in the iPhone 5. Once the Galaxy Note 2 comes out and we get it in our offices, I'll probably try using that for a little while. And ultimately, I'll probably end up going back and forth between an Android device and iOS device. And hopefully, I'll be able to throw in a Windows Phone 8 device in there and maybe a new, fingers crossed, sometime in 2013, BlackBerry 10 device. Hopefully, that helped answer your question. User Andrew Baxendale asked, Hey, John, do you think the upcoming BlackBerry 10 devices are enough to save RIM? So enough to save RIM, I think only time is going to tell, but I will say the upcoming devices look awesome. We saw a leaked video that CrackBerry published late last week that actually showed two upcoming BlackBerry 10 devices. One that looks like a modern, all touchscreen smartphone running BlackBerry's 10, which is based on the QNX operating system. If you've seen QNX on the BlackBerry playbook, you probably think they just shrunk for the phone. It actually looks totally unique and has new multi-touch gestures. You can make a right angle and you can peek at your email box. It shows running applications and it's true multitasking. I'm actually very excited to try it. But the device that I'm probably looking forward to the most is the physical QWERTY BlackBerry 10 device. It looks like a BlackBerry Bold 9900 with the touchpad removed and a larger screen and that awesome keyboard. I loved that keyboard. It was typing nirvana. Keys were clicky, I could feel what I was typing and I loved it. I would sacrifice a smaller screen to have that awesome keyboard. So I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on that device. And Rim is saying we will see them hopefully in January, but at the very least sometime in 2013 and after delay after delay, I don't think they're gonna miss this mark. User G Young Park asks, can you give us some information about the HTC One X5 or the next Google Nexus? What are some of the upcoming phones before 2012 ends? We saw screen captures and pictures of what supposedly this HTC One X5 is going to look like. Uh, it's got the five, it's gonna have a five inch screen. It's gonna be powered by a new quad core Snapdragon chip two gigs of RAM, 1080p display, and hopefully a really beefy battery and running Android Jelly Bean. But the juicy rumor here is that it actually might not be HTC Sense on top of it. It might be pure, unadulterated, awesome, naked Android uh, in the guise of the next Nexus, probably called the Nexus 5. Uh, so if you've been waiting for some new Nexus hardware, your wait might not be that long. And I wouldn't be surprised to see that device actually come out before the holiday season. Uh, usually October, November in particular is really a prime buying time in the US uh, right after Thanksgiving. And I expect to see this new phone come out sometime before then. So the devices coming out before the 2012, the ones I'm looking forward to the most, Lumia 920, HTC 8X, Galaxy Note 2 are probably the three that I'm most excited about. The iPhone 5 was on that list, but it's already here and you can go ahead and pick one up. So hopefully that helps answer your question. So as you can tell by my plain gray t-shirt, I've got a really keen sense of style. I love to go shopping. It's my favorite thing in the world. Actually, I can't stand going to the mall. I would probably go shopping once a year just because I have to get new clothes because they always have holes and tears in them. I hate shopping. If you're like me, you want to give Jack Dreads a try. Only suckers pay full price. If you love alternate apparel brands like Kid Robot, Hurley, and Stussy, but hate wasting your cash on them, listen up. You can score these premium brands up to 80% off. There's a new invite-only shopping club just for guys called Jack Thread, serving up street, skate, and surfwear brands at prices that will literally melt your brain. There's a waitlist to join, but if you head to jackthreads.com slash techno, you can get instant access right now. jackthreads.com slash techno to give it a shot. User Drew1295 asks, I am a Samsung GS3 user and absolutely love the handset. However, I'm tired of waiting for the Jelly Bean update. I'm very interested in rooting and custom ROMs. What are your honest opinions? First off, you haven't been waiting that long. The device hasn't, hasn't been out more than a few months, but I understand wanting the latest and greatest. Some of the unlocked versions, international variants of the Galaxy S3 already have over the air Jelly Bean update. So presumably the US carriers are testing it right now. So if you want the pure TouchWiz Jelly Bean interface, then just wait a few more weeks, probably a month, and you'll be able to get it. 
if you want to venture into the dark realms of rooting and get pure, unadulterated jelly bean on your handset, well, things get a little bit tricky. So you can root your device, which is essentially jailbreaking for Android phones. It can be a little bit more difficult. You got to go through and download some files and some drivers and jump through a bit of hoops, but it's not overly difficult. With a very simple tutorial and you can search jailbreak, whatever variant Galaxy S3 phone you have on YouTube, and there'll be plenty of step-by-step -step instructions. Once you have it rooted, you can go ahead and install what's called a custom ROM. Essentially, that's just a custom operating system. Now, you said that you don't want to wait for Jelly Bean anymore, but the bad news is there isn't an official build of Jelly Bean out there. There are a lot of them that are in beta. The biggest one is done by the Cyanogen team. It's called Cyanogen Mod 10, or commonly abbreviated as CM10. It's not quite ready for public consumption yet, but it is available for beta download. There are other variants of CM10. One of the ones I like a lot is called AKOP. There's one called Paranoid Android. There are a lot of great choices out there. If you want something really stable though, that's gonna be Cyanogen Mod 9. Uh, which is based on ice cream sandwich. Now, I know you're sick of ice cream sandwich, but you are going to get that pure experience. And it might be a nice holdover until we get an official build of Jelly Bean from the Cyanogen team. So the choice is really going to be up to you. Uh, rooting, though, is fun. You can do some damage to your phone, but there are ways to reverse almost everything you can do. If you want to get more technical, you want to customize, rooting is a great way to go. I'm just starting to explore it right now. I'm having a lot of fun tweaking, customizing, figuring out all the great things that you can do with the Android operating system. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Ask the Buffalo. Be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news in the world of technology and occasionally some dancing. I'm John Rettinger. I'll see you in the next video.